Day four, the FIBA 2019 Basketball World Cup sees one of the most anticipated matchups so far as Turkey go up against the USA in a repeat of the 2010 final. The Greek freak is back in action as Greece go head to head with Brazil for top spot in Group F. And there's another fascinating clash in Group H as Lithuania take on Canada. Big scores, overtime heartbreak, and spectacular action. Day three had it all. Patricio Garino throws it down for a highlight play. Brooks just cleans it up with the putback. That is the play of the game. Over to Kulik, he passes up the shot, he's gonna drive in, he scores for Poland! And Poland have held on, what a contest. Greg Popovich and his USA team faced their first major test of the tournament as they went up against Turkey, who were looking to cause an upset. It's very tough for us, but we tried to give our best on the court today. This is the third time Turkey has faced the U.S. Mahutoglu, count it! For Turkey, chance to make it seven in a row for him, and the chance to cut it to three. Joe Harris for three. Good sign for the Americans. Will McKinn probing. Elio Silva for three. Got it to go. Walker in the front court. Walker galloping inside. It was swatted by Ersan Elio Silva. Will McKinn for three. Indeed, and the foul. United States 47, Turkey 42. The half. I think first off uh, we play as a team you know we fought on the court and then everybody step up that's what we need also for the second half you know especially starting from the defense we just need to keep playing also in offense because we know what we can do nice pass be the best chance they've had to be the United States team he'll drive Osman to the rim blocked Austin, fall away. That's good. You love the fact he wanted it. More than anything else, after the game he's had, he still wanted it in that situation. Austin hesitating. Cork Moss for three. Indeed! At the buzzer. Got oh. it to go! Kemba Walker banks it home. With three to shoot. Osman, that's a two. Great defense by Tatum. Tapped up by Ilya Selva. This place is jumping with 12.3 to play. Team USA, Turkey, heading to OT. Mutuglu open for three. Mutuglu knocking down the triple. Five point game. Looking for help with three to shoot. What a step back. Kemba Walker answers with a three of his own. He has Turner on him. Osman drives on Turner! Jetty Osman! It's Ilya Silva with history on the line. No good. The U.S. survived. And those two coaches, so much respect now between the two of them. 93-92. Turkey, they're a great team. Found us all the way down to the wire, but uh, we just find a, find a way to stick through um, and get a big win. Japan gave Turkey a stern test in game one and were confident heading into their clash with the Czech Republic, who were also looking for their first win. First of all, to play our game, uh, to play a fast break, to play transition, to, uh, to be more aggressive on uh, defense. Uh, about Japan, good team. They have a lot of things that we need to concentrate on them. Their fast break also, their offensive rebound. Their first ever appearance here at the FIBA Basketball World Cup. They are looking for their first ever victory. Face the other way. And that's the first fast break points in this tournament for the Czech Republic. He'll step into a three. Indeed. Oh, there's a great tempo to the game. It's an Abe probing. Gets his man in the air. And a foul. Too strong. And a flat-footed rebound for Fazekas. That's the easiest rebound he'll ever have. And he puts up the three and he gets it to go. Andy, come down this hole. 
So the inbound with 6.7 seconds. Ajima in the front court. Ajima all the way to the rim. Gets it to go. Forty-five, forty. Czech Republic in front here at halftime. Hachimura over two oh. defenders. Well, if anyone wanted to know why this guy's in the NBA now, that move sums it up. Atanabe. That floater no good inside. Hachimura pounds it home. Well, if that doesn't get him going, I don't know what would. Let's go, let's go. Next time, run. Get run against him. Sets a big target, now kicks it off. Sadaransky for three, indeed. Tomas Sadaransky and a good look by Balvin. Probing and slithering his way to the tin. Ruban. No one stopped the basketball. And he gets an easy layup. Sadaransky to Schilt. He'll put up another three. His hot shooting continues at a six of six. First ever win for the Czech Republic, and they defeat Japan 89 76. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm smiling now because this is uh, my first win in a World Cup, so I'm so happy about it. Uh, we just want to thank you to, to all of the guys uh, over here and also in the Czech Republic. We really feel, feel that support. So a first ever win for the Czech Republic puts them on three points. But it's the USA who still lead the way after their pulsating overtime win against Turkey. Nanjing hosted a massive matchup in Group F as Brazil tried to work out a way of stopping Greece and their main man, Yanis Antetokounmpo. He can be the best defender, he can be a good offense player, rebounder, blocker, whatever. He can do everything. Up. Over, what a pass and finish! Giannis Antetokounmpo! That's absolutely beautiful team basketball. Marcelinho now looking for an opportunity, gets it inside to the big man, up and in. Oh, what a rejection! By Papa Nicolau. Gets it over to Kabakla. one second on the shot clock, shot goes up, knocks it down! What a shot and what a way to introduce yourself. And here comes Greece. Kostas Lucas up to Janis, throws it down! Papa Giannis. Probably not the start Brazil was hoping for. However, they are still well within earshot of this game. Garcia for three. Alex Garcia! Marquinhos now gets the mismatch on size. Oh, breakdown on defense there. Up and in, counted! And one! Marquinhos Souza. Berejao. Berejao, gonna do it himself. Up and in, finish, much to the delight of the crowd here. Kalathis, two seconds, no good. Giannis up and in, foul and one. You better believe he's got game. Giannis and Tedekumpo. Here's Barbosa. The blur goes up and in. Huge rejection there by Antetokounmpo. Not having it this time. Nice find inside. Oh, huge rejection, Bruno Caboclo. Two minutes to go, five-point ball game. Kalathis up and in. And one, Nick Kalathis. He's got the blur all on him. Finally loses him, three seconds on the shot clock. Shot goes up, knocks it down! Number 15, Yorgos Princesis does it again for the Greeks. Leandrino Barbosa kicks it over, Barajal, the runner. Oh! You better believe he's got game, baby. Huge moment in the World Cup. Oh, puts it away. Felicio, the final minutes, and Brazil have won. Brazil have won. What a play by Caboco. That young man has just earned his team a massive World Cup victory. That's why we love this game. Basketball is crazy. You know, it's 15 seconds, it's three seconds, four seconds. The game's not over. It was unbelievable. After tasting defeat in their first ever World Cup game, Montenegro faced another tough clash against the Tall Blacks of New Zealand. Before the tournament, this is the key game uh, against New Zealand, against a tough team, good team, full of energy, and, uh, but I think everything depends on us. 
And away we go. New Zealand with the win and bringing it up is going to be Ty Webster, who gets the starting nod today with his brother, Corey Webster, who now has the ball. Nice find inside to Ty, and right away, they found the basket, New Zealand. And a steal. Here comes Webster. He's going to kick it for three. Corey Webster, what a shot. What a steal by Derek Needham. Fast break opportunity, Popovich up and in. Much to the delight of the crowd here in Nanjing. Some excellent team defense and finishing in transition. It's going to be a, another technical on head coach Svezdin Mitrovic of Montenegro. He's been thrown out of the game on two technical fouls. That's not what Montenegro needed. Works off the screen. Goes up and in himself. Up and in. What a finish. Ty Webster with two seconds remaining. Three-quarter attempt, no good. New Zealand leading 53-44. What an exciting half of basketball that was. Oh, 4-2 up and in. You gotta count the basket on that one. Beautiful move by the big man. Huge rejection there. Number four, Nikola Vucevic. Just beautiful. Here comes Popovich on the other end, up and in, and finish! And that has raised the roof in the arena. Illy now kicks it back over Webster for three. Wide open look. What a shot! Corey Webster, are you kidding me? That is unbelievable. To Webster. Back over to Ty Webster one more time. The back door cut and finish. Yeah, T Webb just using the back door, floating to the basket on the lob, and just an easy two. New Zealand with the 93-83 win, a huge win for them and their opportunity to stay alive here in Group F. It was a great win for us um, to try and keep, help us to stay alive in this tournament, so I'm just proud of the boys and how we came out today. So victory for New Zealand takes them to three points, but Brazil topped the group after their stunning win over Greece. Coming up in part two, we feature some tournament big hitters as France, Germany, Australia, and Lithuania take to the floor. Germany were determined to bounce back from their opening day loss, but it wouldn't get any easier against a super confident Dominican Republic. We feel exciting, you know? We know that we play against uh, one of the biggest teams of this tournament. Huge game, both teams, so... Um... You know, obviously everybody is uh, very focused and uh, we'll be ready to play. It might not be the box office battle of game day one for Germany, but it's even more important now. A must-win matchup against the Dominican Republic here in Group G at the 2019 FIBA World Cup. And the crossover towards the basket. Lovely dish as well for the Eloy Vargas throwdown. Some Dominican dynamite exploding on Germany's second round chances. for dead. Talk about getting where you want to be on the offensive end. But look at the penetration. Low with a nice little cross step. Little skip that he do and he gets to the rim. Have a look at this. And that will do it for a fascinating first half of runs. Dominican Republic were up by eight. Germany were up by nine, but it's only a two-point edge at the half. Germany 39, Dominican Republic 37. Without making the ball, we have the guy in the tie game. I think uh, I hope that in the second half we can shoot better. Schroeder kicks it to the corner around the perimeter, low through a gap, back towards Schroeder, open mid-range, knocks it down. To 17 for the number 17. So Lano. Jinking and jiving and looking for teammates. Three-point shot, Montero will go to beat the buzzer. Another huge blow delivered to the chin of Germany from Dominican Republic. Pass back to the baseline and get inside for the easy two. A quick fire, five points from Baez, the 37-year-old veteran. Schroeder on the burst of the basket. Passing lane disrupted, Bartle puts it up and misses it. Incredible 
scenes in Shenzhen. Dominican Republic on just their third ever appearance of the World Cup have knocked out the 1993 European champions Germany. This is what you've been waiting for. We've got it. All our hard work was for you guys, for our country. And tonight, we achieved it, thanks to God. We did it for the Dominican Republic. Jordan faced a tough task as they went up against France, who rubber-stamped their title credentials with an impressive win over Germany in Game 1. With a win from the Republic, uh, Dominican Republic uh, this afternoon, a win uh, would qualify us for second round. We've tried to put together a, a game plan in a short period of time that will hopefully be effective against France. They're, you know, France is a very good team. We're all set for this game day two matchup at the 2019 FIFA World Cup. France looking to go 2-0 and seal their place in the second round. Jordan looking for their first ever win in the competition. If it comes against the reigning bronze medalists, it'll be a career-defining moment for each and every one of these players. Nelikina on to Fournier. Fournier on the burst to the basket, used his body, created some room, and the piece is picked up off the rim by Gobert. Colo contested from the stripe, able to move it on to Elpisi, who gets it away in time and beats the buzzer. Abdeen will take on the shot from the elbow, and he beats the buzzer as well. Nili Kina all over Abdeen, and showing great hustle as well. Colo, there's four of them there, and one of them is Gobert to go to the heavens and rock the rim. some buy for three again, automatic from there. All of a sudden, a couple of minutes ago, it was, it was game on, only six or seven points in it, and in the blink of an eye, the lead's now out to 17. We were down the other night uh, against Dominican, came back and actually took a one-point lead, so we, we're going to fight to the end, I promise you that. Tucker's been heating up, and now he's on fire. Three threes in a row. To Colo for three. Lacombe, another fast break for France, thrown up. Waye unloading some French firepower, and it is full force forward France at World Cup 2019. A commanding win, a message-sending win in their pursuit of the podium as they win it, 103-64. They too good, man. Like, their they, they, they percentage on the three-bone line, it was, like, really high. Uh, they, they used every mistake we've done, every turnover. Uh, it's a good team. Uh, we try to do our best, uh, but, like, congrats to France. That incredible win for Los Quiscayanos keeps them at the top of Group G alongside France, who swept aside Jordan. Australia showed real spirit to overcome Canada in Game 1 and will need it again against Senegal, who are fighting for survival in Group H. It's important that we execute, get uh, ensure we get good leads, um, play intelligently, share the basketball and um, take good shots to try to limit them going the other way. It is Australia and Senegal who will get things underway this afternoon. Dalmeida, he goes for the three and he gets it. And Senegal open up a five-point lead. This is a strong start. Dalmadova, Engels gives it to Baines and Baines responds with a big one-handed dunk. Floats one up for Endor, what a play! The alley-oop pass thrown down by Maurice Endor, and Senegal really starting with confidence here. The pass thrown up to Baines, who throws it down for the dunk, and Australia back in front. Against Bogut. To the corner, Fiders get his shot away, makes the three! And here is Sambe, gets it out to Faye, goes again, oh well! Back-to-back -back threes and ten points on the board for Fai already. Still a decent first half from Senegal. They're only trailing by three. Australia lead at the halfway stage, 36 to 33. Three-point game once again as Ingalls floats it up with a pass to Baines. Well, Joe Ingalls is just something else. A great finish from Baines as well.
But Australia have a seven point lead at the moment as Ingalls finds Bogut, who finds Mills from the corner for three. That is what this Australian team is all about. That is vintage boomer basketball. To Torre. Torre to Maurice Dor, and Aaron Baines in the way to block him. And now Australia breaking fast with Mills, <laughs> who drains the three. Paddy Mills with a devastating blow. It's just like clockwork as Ingalls puts up the three on the buzzer and makes it. Joe Ingalls may well be Australia's hero this afternoon. And that is the win for Australia. They are closing in on a place in the second round. We show we got heart, so we fight with the heart, we fight with the with the thing we got. So the result was negative today, but the thing is we got to build on this for the next game. Lithuania topped 100 points against Senegal, but will find life much tougher against Canada, still smarting from their narrow defeat to Australia. It's, it's kind of do or die for us here, right? I think we knew coming in we were going to have to, you know, get one of the first two to, to um, you know, have any chance to advance, so, you know, here we are. Canada take on Lithuania at the magnificent Dongguan Basketball Centre. Relentless pressure here from Lithuania, Machulis puts it away. Bounce pass to Birch, who does well and throws it down. Great play, Kevin Birch getting off to a good start here. Here's Kalnietis for three, gets it on the buzzer. Time to perfection once again from Mantas Kalnietis. Here's Kevin Pangos. Pangos, brilliantly done. It's classic Kevin Pangos right there. It is a 10-point lead for Lithuania at the halfway stage in this second group game. We need to try to get a few more three balls up. It's a big team, we need to shoot over the top of a little bit and see if we can't cut into this lead. Rare loose pass from the Lithuanians and a fast break on here for Corey Joseph. Did really well. A great pass, oh, what a finish. Wiltshire again providing the killer touch, but it was Pangos' vision. Jankunas, Vesminskas. Draws the foul, three-point play possibility, another blow to the Canadians. Carries it forward, Wiltshire throws it down. He has been the standout by far for this Canadian team. Drives inside, bounce pass to Valanchunas, who throws it down. So they know they are closing in, they can feel the victory just edging ever closer. There's still desire here, Giedratis and Kuzminskas to put the final point on another fine display from Lithuania. In general, it was a great performance by the team, especially in defense. In some moments, we look really solid. And, uh, of course, a big job for our big guys, Sabonis and Volanchunas. They really passed the ball very good tonight. Lithuania's imperious win over Canada keeps them at the top of Group H, alongside Australia, who cruised past Senegal. Atanabe. That floater no good inside. Hachimura! Pounds it home! Crossover towards the basket, lovely dish as well for the Eloy Vargas throwdown. Some Dominican dynamite exploding on Germany's second round chances. And they're looking to break quickly here, laid up. And does it go in by the follow from Yusufa and Doi, who throws it down. And Senegal extend their lead to five once again. Oh, what a pass to Ingalls. That's beautiful from Australia. So slick, so smooth. Outstanding. How about this from Bogut and Ingalls? Great combination. But the space inside, they shifted on again, and out of nowhere comes Kleber. Just what you were saying. 
He had four blocks against France, Maxi Kleber, and he's in the game and in with a bang. What an incredible day of action at the FIBA 2019 Basketball World Cup. Let's do it all again on day five. With history on the line, no good. The U.S. survive. Turkey. Leandrino Barbosa kicks it over. Barish out the runner. Oh! Germany. Now they go into the promised land. Hi, I'm Kobe. Don't miss the FIBA Basketball World Cup here. You want more? Click on these videos and hit the subscribe button. World's got game.